Hello, Stellar parents. My name is Alexandra Provins, and I am the 6th through 12th English teacher here at Stellar. Today, I'm going to discuss how to give meaningful feedback on your child's work. So first, why is feedback important? Feedback is necessary for your child's academic growth. It lets your child know exactly what skills they need to work on and provides them with some direction in order to start improving those skills. When giving feedback, you want to be prompt and specific. Try to give feedback as soon as possible while the assignment is still fresh in your child's mind. It is also important that the feedback you give is clear and precise. Try to avoid generalized statements and specify what next step needs to be taken to improve their work. If feedback is clear, students are more likely to understand how to address issues and improve. For example, you want to avoid generic feedback like great, star, nice job, write more, wrong, or crossing out incorrect answers. All of these are vague and don't give your child enough information about what the strengths and weaknesses of their work really are or how to improve. In both praise and criticism, you want to be as specific as possible. For example, your organizational structure is strong. Your ideas are well supported by the evidence. You need to expand on why the red hat was important. This claim isn't supported by the story. Look back to page 34 for this question. Your ideas aren't well organized. You should go back and make an outline. Comments like these give your child a clear picture of what they did well and what needs to be improved upon. And even more importantly, they provide a suggestion for how to improve. When commenting on writing assignments, there are several different areas you can focus on. Many parents focus on correcting grammatical errors. And while these are important to note so that your child recognizes an error, you want to avoid overcorrecting. Seeing a lot of marks on a page can be overwhelming for students, especially when other areas actually need more attention. I recommend marking an error once or twice and then asking your student to revise the entire assignment for each error noted when they're in the revision stage. Additionally, you don't need to be a grammar expert to edit an assignment for grammar. Focus on basic elements to help your child form a good grammatical foundation, such as basic punctuation, periods, commas, question marks, etc., capitalization, full complete sentences, and common spelling errors. When commenting, you should pay specific attention to issues with content. We want to encourage critical thinkers and creating a standard of logical and well-supported writing will help do this. Some common areas of improvement that you might encourage are fully explaining ideas, providing adequate evidence, connecting the main idea with evidence or supporting ideas, organization, maintaining focus, and using formal language. Additionally, you may want to bring attention to overarching issues. Write a comment at the end of the assignment that identifies the largest, most pressing issue to focus on. Typically, these issues relate to content and organization rather than grammar. And if the student addressed this issue, it would considerably improve the quality of writing. Another great resource at your disposal is rubrics, which clearly lay out the expectations for a given assignment. While rubrics are not a substitution for specific comments, they can be extremely useful for both teacher and student. As a teacher, you can use rubrics to identify areas where your student excelled or needs improvement, to help guide your comments, and to try and be objective. As a student, rubrics can help to clarify the final grade, provide clear guidance as to areas of strengths and weaknesses, and show exactly what improvements must be made to move up in a given category. So you might consider utilizing rubrics on larger assignments to aid in giving feedback. Feedback is most effective when your student gets the opportunity to apply it. When you provide feedback, discuss your comments with your child, have them revise the assignment, and then review it again to provide additional feedback on what was done well and what needs, still needs to be focused on for next time. Students don't need to revise an assignment ad nauseum, but should be able to take that feedback and apply it to future projects. So, when approaching the next assignment, review comments from previous assignments to remind your child what they should focus on as they write and revise. Giving feedback will require time and effort on your part, but remember that meaningful feedback helps your student make meaningful progress. If you would like to see examples of teacher comments on student work or rubrics that you can utilize at home, you can access them through my class page under the resources tab. Thank you for joining me for a quick overview of how to give meaningful feedback.